In this video, we're going to see how to make this image from this only using Photoshop. Hi there, I'm Geo. This is Geo Creations. Let's jump right into the video. All right, we're going to see how to make a simple sketch to look like a final render. This will be useful for concept developing or to visualize your project beforehand and show it to your clients or your design faculty and uh, if you are in lack of time you can use this for your final presentation also all right the rough sketch is done. I guess it's pretty much similar to my scribble. Okay, now it's time to look for a background. Let's jump into Lumion. Don't get me wrong, you can use any other image, but I'm using this for my satisfaction. Let's fix the perfect angle for this. Turn on the two point perspective. Delete the unwanted items. And boom, the background is ready. I'm giving the building a base color so that it gets a solid look. Alright, it's almost done. Now we need to see Google's help to search for some wooden poles. Okay, let's fix this. Now I am making this a proper background. I took two sets of renders from Lumion. Now I'm merging it as a single image. Let's mask those edges. And boom, we got a good background now. I made the building as a small object. Now I'm masking the areas which I wanted to merge with the background. Okay, let's open the building in a new tab by double clicking on the small object layer. Now whatever we do there, updates here. Okay, now it's time to give textures to the rest of the model. Let's start with the base. I'm gonna give a wooden texture for it. Let's style it and now the texture is ready. Now press Alt Ctrl plus V to open Vanishing Point Filter. What it basically does is, it tells Photoshop that, hey, this is how the perspective should be. You can learn all these options separately in detail from other YouTube videos. Because 
One video won't be enough to cover everything in detail, so leave a comment if you need me to cover that separately. And by the way, leave a like if you enjoyed this video till now, dislike if you don't and tell the reason in the comment. Alright, now we fix the perspective planes. Now copy and paste the texture and boom, the texture finds its own perspective as per the planes we set. This will give you a more accurate result. I'm adjusting the levels to give it a shade, mm, perfect. Now let's look for a handrail. Here I am using Ctrl plus 3 to transform it and by pressing the Ctrl key we can adjust its perspective. Alright, we've finished placing the handrails. Now it's time to add some more details. I'm placing a ventilator here. I've decided to incorporate brutalism in this. So the main material here is exposed concrete. As the site is in a hilly region, we need to add some fog to make it realistic. Uh, ignore that. Now I'm choosing a foggy background from Google so that it matches with the fog we are adding. Little bit of masking here and there. And voila, it's done. Let's add some more details to the building. I have decided to make this a glass facade. Let's speed it up a little bit. I'm taking some assets from my library. Now it's time to add some weathering effects to our building. This was our initial sketch. <laughs> now I'm adding a little more foreground. And this is the time to add some nitty gritty details. First of all, we should perfect the shades and shadows. And let's add some reflections to the handrails. And now to the facade. Let's mask out the reflections from the frames. Now it almost looks alright. Let's add our logo. Geo creation. And now it's time for the magic. Press Ctrl Shift plus E to burn all the existing layers to a new layer. Convert it into smart object to work non-destructive. Now press Ctrl, Shift and A to open Adobe Camera Raw. If you are not using Photoshop CC, you can export that image into Lightroom. Both of them works the same. Now I am copying this layer and applying a preset. Now you can see the image is pretty much flat and we need to add some contrast to it. Again convert this into smart object and press Ctrl plus L to open the levels control panel. We already opened it but yeah the shortcut key is Ctrl plus L. Now I am taking this slider a little bit to the right and voila see the magic. Now oh, I'm adding a bit more fog in the foreground to make it look better. Now see, this is the before and this is the after. Now subscribe to the channel to watch more contents like this, leave a like or dislike if you don't like and please tell the reason in the comment and share this video to someone who finds this useful. 
check me out on instagram i have linked down in the description i am always there for you catch you guys in the next video sayonara